so I just while 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 I stopped the video there for a second I was thinking and looking at it and just for fun I turned off the model and actually see this run and um, I'll just tell you what I was thinking I'll move this really fast and you can see you can see here does a really nice job of cutting out all of these sides here and leaving the tabs now if I turn off that transparency I like how it changed the colors that's awesome um that is so smart um and hopefully that's not messed up there but it basically does there's no need to really um use a 2d contour there um so i think what i want to do is i want to use these contours on this section and do i need to even do it in that section i think i do so let's try that i think that's that's what my my plan is so let's should I have made that box a lot bigger and do it all in one go? Or should I do them separate? Um, yeah, I think that's probably a better idea. So if I go back here to model, I need to edit this sketch here. See, you can tell I'm more used to SolidWorks now. If I want to edit this, why, why is it being a pain? Am I editing it now? I'm not even sure. Let's, give me a sec. I think I am. Um, I'm going to do another two-point rectangle. The only issue is I don't want to cut out all of that. What I need to do with this guy... I need to cut out a bit. Not right there. Can I delete that? That relation? There it is. No. There we go. That constraint, whatever the hell you call it. Um, I'm going to bring this out just a little bit more. That's, a, that's a good. It doesn't matter. It's not going to cut that stuff. I mean, I can bring this as big as I want. This is the advantage of modeling the, um, the stock in SolidWorks. I can make this really big. It's not going to touch any of this other stuff. Yeah. So let's... And it's going to rebuild. Ah, uh, yeah, look at this. So um, can I... Um, now if I, how do I stop sketch, there it is, beautiful, I go back to cam, and I, these three should be easy enough, I'm just going to generate tool paths, and this is going to be the bad boy, we go generate tool paths, now it's going to do the whole thing, get rid of fan of my computer going nuts, now, Let's give this a second. Oh, see, now it's going to do the whole... Yeah, yeah, I need to... The adaptive should be that small section, and the contour should be the large section. Yeah, I messed that up. That's not what I want. Yeah, it's too much. Um... Oh yeah, this guy's gonna go. That's the problem. Can I clear two apart? That's good. Okay. Um. Let's go back to model, and we'll draw another rectangle. Do I need it on a separate sketch? I don't know. Okay. So I'll start up here and just bring it as far as there. Okay, and I'll stop that sketch. I'm going to come into Cam. I'll right click here. I'm going to go Edit, and I'll go into Geometry, and I'm going to I'm going to give it a new chain. It's just going to be this blood, and I'm going to go Okay. Now let hold on. No, let's okay. Let's just let it do its thing. That should be a lot quicker now. And then this guy, edit. 
we want machining boundary to be this but let's do it again do we want everything yeah we may as well sources from previous operation okay That looks great. Okay. <laughs> Too easy. Now how long is that? An hour and 20 minutes sucks. Um, I wonder what I could do to speed that up. If I right click here and go edit, we have the cutting feed rate. It's just me, Ollie. It's just me. It's just me. Oi! I was just tapping the table. Stop that. Buddy, come over here. It's just me tapping, Egypt. It's just me tapping. Stop. Come over here. Come. Get over here. Get over here. Inside. Inside. Stop. Relax, alright? It's just me. I'm just tapping. It's just me. It's just me tapping. Stop. 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 Relax. Alright, um, let's go OK. OK. Now, I don't know is this slot getting machined out or not. Um, let's do it all anyway. Let's go here to here. Let's turn this off. Let's go to uh, simulate. <laughs> and let's go play. Can we just go to the very end? It can't be everything. So they're machine those pockets. It's pretty cool. No, um, I think that's it. I'm just thinking here. Um, that looks really good. That's exactly what I want. The last thing I want to do is I'm going to use a, a one eighth inch ball end mill, and I'm going to um, I'm going to run it over all of this rough um, roughing. So rough roughing. All right. So how do I do that? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, or right, let's get another. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, we can also do this. I wonder if I um. I need to make this. I need to go back here. And pull that past that curve. I wonder. Okay, let's go back here. And. That's all right. You just double click on it. Um. I'm, I'm going to drag this all the way past, there you go, this slot here, because I'm going to get that in now as well. That's okay. I'm going to stop sketch. I'm going to go back to model, or cam, and uh, I'm, the last thing, I'm going to go 3D parallel, a widely used finishing strategy. Um, yeah, um, contour ramp. Horizontal. 
I'm going to go up parallel and I'm going to get a new tool. Uh, can I copy this? Can I? All right, overall length is going to be 2.5. None of this really matters. Uh, shoulder length 1.75. Uh, flute length 1.5. Uh, shaft diameter uh, 0.125. Diameter 0.125. It doesn't. It seems way too long. You just go 1.5, 1.5, 1.25. Flute length 1.25. Be done with it. Um, ball and mill. I don't know how to explain this in English, but when you're um, smoothing out a 3D surface, you need you use a ball and mill. I don't know how you could do it with a flash. So um, maybe so I don't know how to explain it, but whenever you're smoothing out a 3D surface, um, you use a ball end mill. So let's change this to be 60. We can, let's go disabled. Geometry, machining boundary selection. It's going to be this. Additional offset. Uh, rest machining. Can I do this from previous operation? Heights, bottom. That'll, that'll work. Uh, passes. Pass direction. Step over. Maybe this is the number that is making though. We need to look at that step over. And we'll go stock to leave. We don't want any stock to leave. We'll go OK. Yeah, that's step over. So the higher, the lower the step over, the more accurate it's going to be. Now, if I go here to here, uh, we'll generate two paths. Sorry, I'm zoning out here. Just checking my email. Anyway. Oh my god. Yeah, we forgot about this. What I remember doing it there. Uh, oh, look at that. Lovely. That's fantastic. Now, um, Let's go from here to there, simulate, and let's press play, and let's bump up the speed. see that the what is this called the progress is right here so we're still on the flat we're still on the flat that's, that's ball yeah that ball would take a lot longer So this is my first go around with all these tool paths. Um, oh, that's, look at that. Whew. Interesting. Bit messy. Hmm. That's, that's messed up there. Uh, that's way too messy. God. Um, a lot of sanding. How long is this um, uh, machining time? Two hours. Is that all of it? Okay, so what about this though? Machining time, eight minutes. Okay, so we got to do something here. Edit this. Let's, let's, um, let's look at this adaptive first. And, 
I don't know what else. Ollie, relax for a sec. Yeah, I, I forgot what we were trying to do, but I, I, I remember it now. So um, I wanted to go back in and look at the step over. Is there a step over here? Or where is it? Geometry, you know, nothing there. Passes. Find step over maximum roughing step down 0.39. Find step over. Find step down. Stock to leave. Minimum cutting radius. Optimum load. Um, smoothing. Now. It, I don't know. I think that's as good as we're going to get. I'm going to leave that alone. Um, but I need to go back into here, edit, and I need to change that step over. Um, did I change it or not? Let's make this two thousands or twenty thousands. Um, that looks a bit better. Thought I'd be seeing more on these. This, yeah. Um, right. Um, just thinking here. Right. Okay. So I might have. It's a shame. I'm gonna go here. Simulate. Yeah. Um, no, not for a while. Maybe like two hours ago. Maybe an, maybe an hour and a half ago. So I'm, I'm just waiting to see what this, um, yeah, it's very rough that, isn't it, um, hmm, yeah, we, so what's the problem there is it it's hitting off it's going too deep and it's hitting it um right just bear with me why what can i do with this parallel um Okay, so I think that right now that's as good as I'm going to get it. I don't, I really, I don't have enough experience here. Um, finishing steep walls. Will we try and do a contour with a ball end mill and see what that looks like? And see if I can get those walls. I'm going to suppress this one. And... I'm going to do another, let's do a contour. And we'll do it with the ball end mill. All right, our cutting feed rate, let's make this to be like 60. Let's turn off the coolant. The geometry, the machining boundary is going to be, we just want to finish this area, do we not? Okay. Rest machining is from the previous operation. 
heights, yeah that's good, passes, maximum step down, linking, stock to leave, no we don't have any stock to leave, smoothing, I don't know, let's just see how that goes. Not too happy. Dependency on operation contour two is ignored because it is suppressed for the active configuration. Right. Now if I drop this down below that, does that make a bit of a bit of a difference? I'm going to contour to a generate tool path. Probably going to give us the same error. Well, no. Why didn't it give me the same error? Because I'm using that. I was using something called rest machining, which depends on the previous operation, which was suppressed. So, um,. This is not, I don't know how that's going to be very good, but let's, let's see here. Um, feed speed, passes, tolerance, maximum step down. What happens, what happens if I put smoothing, linking, is that, is that anything to do with it? I don't know. That's not really it. That's not going to do anything. That's not going to do anything either. Linking. I don't know. So I'm not too happy with that. Uh, that's not going to do a good job. We'll delete that. Let's try something else. Contour. Parallel. suppress this I think that's as good as I'm gonna get okay so that's I, I think I'm starting to understand this this is that this would be one setup okay now if I flip this around I would have another setup so I would have I like this a new setup a setup two and it would be this would be all flipped around like so and can I put that there or does it matter that's the zero zero and I'll go up um, select X and Y axis so X axis is going to be this chap um, I want to turn to flip the Z though. Um, okay, what about this? Can I flip the Y axis? That'll do. And origin is going to be select the point. So that's that. X, Y is the same. And I'm going to go OK. Alright, I need to pause. My brain's tired. Right, I'm back. So hope. Hopefully, we have this side machined, and it, it it it'll probably be a disaster, but we'll see when we get it on the CNC. Hopefully, you re you realize we need to once all this side, all of these operations are finished, the whole piece of two by six needs to be rotated, and it needs to be set up again. The problem with that is is it loses its origin. 
because the origin is here and we flip this around and it's all it, it, it's the location of the piece is not we don't know where it is so that that's an issue that we're going to have to deal with um but before that i have this set up here and we've said that this is our origin we could use an edge finder hopefully you know what one of those is but that I feel like there's a probably a better way, but we can we can generate the tool paths anyway. Um, so we flip this around. We've got to do this side. I'm not going to worry about these um, fresh cutouts just for well, not not right now. Um, what am I going to do here? What we could do? I don't know. Part of me just wants to try. A contour again so if we go here new operation 3d milling adaptive clearing and I come in here let's just do this uh, now we don't want the ball we want the flat and the geometry heights but we want to go as deep as that now. I don't think we need to go as deep. I think we need to go about no more than this. Um, so I'm going to go selection. And I'm going to click this. And then I'm going to come here. And let's go back to geometry for a second. Machining boundary selection. Let's click this. We probably have to create a new sketch. That might not work. Let's go OK. I'll be amazed if that works. Oh, look at that, lovely. Yes, it's going all the way down there, and then it's machining all that out here. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, that depth is too much. So let's see if we can fix that. So what is that depth? Uh, passes. Uh, maximum roughing step down. I feel like that's it. We need to make this about 0.1. Maybe 0.125. That's plenty. That's going to slow things down. There you go, look at that lovely. Let's step over. The hell is all that about? Hmm. That looks good, actually. Yeah, but why does it come down so? Why does it bother with all of this? That's good. Why did it do that square? Um, let's try that again. Heights. Stock top. Top height is zero. Why did it machine that? Because it, it looks like it's a tiny bit top height. Stock top. Retract height. What's that? What's this one? Top. Is point zero four. 
there's there's stock top model top does that make a difference okay passes See, does that work? We, we don't want to. We don't want this cutter going outside of this contour. There's, there's no. This is all good. I like what it's doing here. But once it's going out there and it's going outside this, this contour here and machining around, around this area, that's just a waste of time. So let's give it a second. Right, let's have a look, see how long this takes. Machine time. An hour and 19 minutes. Okay, that's fair enough. That's not too bad. Um, now, um, the next thing we need to do is a 3D parallel. Let's use the ball mill. Let's go into geometry, silhouette, selection. Let's use this big um, rectangle again this outer rectangle uh, rest machining from previous operation the height uh, stock top let's go model top and passes step over let's make this a little bit smaller See, it's probably going down it's going too deep let's go edit and pardon is that what i wanted edit top heights no we don't want this bottom we want it we want really we don't even need we need to go like as as low as as low as this really or as low as this would do model bottom selection uh, no let's go here let's just do that funny isn't it no that's not right so what did I do is contour parallel why isn't it getting all of this, this curvature strange um, let me think about this rest machining Tool orientation, heights, right, passes, step over, stop to leave not, Lincoln. That's Well, let's run it and see what it looks like. Let's turn this off. We'll go and no, simulate. Play. This is all nice. I like that. This is good. But let's slow this down a little bit. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. Lovely. And then we're in the ball end mill. That's just working there for some reason. It's going in the Okay, here we go. messed up huh. 
Uh, this is okay. I wonder if I need to increase the resolution or something. Um, let's turn this back on. Oh, somebody's looking at me now and knows exactly what I'm doing wrong. Geometry. Well, that makes sense. Chain to center, that's fine. Contact only passes. Step over. Do I need to make this smaller? Simple ordering. Tolerance. Stock to leave. Fillet radius. Feed optimization. Smoothing. Let's just try this. care about any of that stuff. Maybe I just need to do okay. Let's do this. Let's edit this. Okay. Let's look at this from the top. And let's do this selection, this one here. Just that. Nothing. There's a big curve here, why why is it not getting that? Let's have a look. Um, adaptive clearing, pocket clearing, parallel, maybe horizontal, is it? I just I don't know. Ball. I thought this would be perfect for, for a parallel um Geometry, machining boundary selection. Let's just pick this heights. Um, top height is model top, model bottom. We'll go selection to there. Manual should be set. The step over. No, the manual step over. Manual step over should be set. Manual step over. That's right. Huh. No, that's not good either. There's a very, very slight curve that this is not picking up. Um, so that's useless. Let's delete that. Gallop spiral, spiral tool path, radial, I don't know what the hell, we'll give it a go, uh, an 8 inch ball, Geometry selection is it? I wonder, is it? Is it the, the selections are on? It's on a different plane, maybe. Let's try that again. Boundary overlap. Uh, let's do model top selection that face right there. Let's go okay. It's, it's like a 3D pocket north. Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, that, I like that. Might be onto a winner here. Um, oh, that's not too bad. Right, what's wrong with this height? Why is it going up there? Um, let's try that again. Hold on, let's delete the parallel. Let's edit the scallop. Let's go to the height, height, model top, yeah. I wonder, can we bring it down a little bit, um, offset, 
at minus 1. What happens if I go minus 0 0.1? And then we go here, passes, step over. We can make this even a bit smaller. Let's make that four forty thousandths. Let's go, okay. That looks actually looks very good. Um, hmm. How long does that take the machine? Oh, yeah. So what I need to do here is I need to bring this rectangle over a little bit. This is good. I like that. So let's go into um, model. We'll create a new sketch. Let's turn these lads off. And I'll create another rectangle. We start up here. And I'll bring this down to there. So, um, all right, we got that. Hold on. Let's stop the sketch. Let's go back to cam. Now, what the hell is going on with this sketch here? I'll go back to model. And I'll turn that on. There, there. Why is this guy here? Does he not need to be on this side? So that's a bit strange. Edit. Edit. I don't want to edit the sketch. Um, can I put him there? Oh, um, let me pop. Hold on first. Okay, so um, just trying to figure out why this sketch was drawn here. Look, I should just delete this and try a new one. Create sketch. I'm going to put it on this face and get myself a rectangle. Let's try it again. Okay. Now, if I rotate this, now it's in the right place. Let's go down to cam and let's, let's look at scallop. Edit the scallop. The geometry will pick this one and I'll go OK. Looks great. OK, so I'm going to do this, I'll generate this as well. I don't know if that finished or not. Um, no. There you go. Okay. So let's look at, let's turn the part off. Let's right click there and let's simulate it. And let's press play and let's bump up the speed a little bit. Standard. I don't know what these things do. Let's just hit one view. Yeah.
that tightens up that curve there. Oh yeah, here you go. Oh yeah. Hmm. What's that music? Alright, um, that looks lovely. That's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, that looks good. So let's let's see how long this takes. Let's exit out of this. Oops. Let's turn on part right click here machining time now we're at 46 not too bad um so that look that's basically how you set the tool paths um using fusion 360 uh hopefully the next video that i show you hope i apologize for the uh, you know i'm just not an expert on fusion 360 i'll be honest with you and i haven't done a whole lot of machining so if you're watching it to this stage well done and i hope you get something out of it it is a good program so um we'll take some footage of um the machining of this part peter hopefully will and uh, the last thing i want to show you peter though is is if we go if i right click here how do i do the actions here just one second um let me i'm gonna pause this find out what your your um processor is and i'll show you how to change it Okay, so Peter has a Probotics Meteor CNC, and uh, the post processor he uses is Mac 3. So, what you got to do is, let's say I want to, um, I want to do the. Hold on a second here. Post process. No, let's let's uh, rebuild all of these. Okay, I'm gonna to go to actions, post process. I'm gonna go yes. Don't worry about that. And what did I do here? Um, post configuration all. And make sure that this says. I feel like you need this needs to be an open folder, but I had issues with this before. Use cloud posts. Will that work? No, that doesn't work. Um, personal generic posts. There we go. And if you come all the way down here, this is Mac3Mill.cps. And that's the post processor. And what I can do is I can go oh, post. Oh, I just want to go post. No, I don't think I want to do that just yet. So what I have to do is I can right click on that and I can post process that just that put that um what the hell is that called? Operation. And that's going to be 101. So I go post. I put this on the desktop. And this is the G code that you're going to use. Okay? So I'm going to save this, Peter, and hopefully, um, you know, you can figure this out. I think this is a piece of cake. So um, that's it.